everybody, this is Miss Morrow at College Street Elementary, and today we're going to talk about using a 10 frame to think about and do solve problems in math. You can do this if you're subitizing and looking at how many there are without counting, but you can also do this as a way to do part, part, whole, or add and subtract. So at school, we use 10 frames that look like this. Kindergartners, first graders, they tend to use a 10 frame that just has one. And then first grade and second grade, they tend to use 10 frames that have two 10 frames so that they can do the teen numbers and numbers up to 20. But you probably don't have these at your house. So what you can do is take an egg carton and you're going to cut the last two compartments off of your egg carton. And then you're going to place those, see those are the ones I cut off, under the last two. And you can either do a dot of hot glue to keep that in place, or you can tape it. I just taped it to keep mine in place. So now I changed my egg carton into a 10 frame. And I'm gonna use this to show some work today. For the objects that you put in your 10 frame, I have monkey counters, but I'm at school. If I was at home, I could use cereal, I could use goldfish, I could use marbles, I could use little Legos, anything you have at your house that's just little enough to fit in an egg carton, you could use Easter eggs. That's something that you can use to help you count with. So the way that we're gonna solve problems with this is I'm gonna drop some of my monkey counters into my egg carton, and then I'm gonna show you how many I have, and you're gonna tell me how many you see. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, they're falling, they're falling. <laughs> Did you see them before they fell out? There were five on the top and three on the bottom. It looked like this. So you can write lots of equations when you see five on the top and three on the bottom. We know that that's five reds and three yellows. We know that that's three yellows and five reds. You could do it out of order. We know that eight is the same thing as five plus three. Oops, I messed up. I forgot to put my plus sign on there. Where's my marker? So you don't have to do your equation first. You could do your parts first and your whole at the end, or you could start with your whole and then do your parts. You can also do subtraction. I know that eight, take away the three, would leave me with five. There's so many equations that you can make out of this, I couldn't fit them all on this space. So you can use your 10 frame at home and come up with your own equations and do some part, part, whole work. If you have two 10 frames, that's where you're gonna wanna start looking at your teenager numbers. You can also do this, we do this at school, with base 10 blocks. So you wanna make sure if you're using two 10 frames that you're practicing those teen numbers because sometimes those get kind of tricky for first graders and for kindergartners. Okay, that's it for using a 10 frame. See you later.